All right, I think we're live. What's up? Marvelous Monday to everybody out there. What's up, Kingdom Builders? You a Kingdom Builder? What's going on? Big shout out to all you guys right now. I am Christopher Harold, guys, and welcome, welcome, welcome for our Monday morning motivation. It's your first time checking me out. I started these Monday, Monday morning motivational calls about uh man, about two months ago. And we just, just share on, and I pop on for about 10 minutes and share some powerful nuggets, you know, to inspire you, to motivate you, to, to be able to have a prosperous week. And this is what one of the biggest weeks prior to this. This is like uh the Super Bowl week, you know, if you guys are sports fans, like I am, but you know, Super Bowl is like a big event, right? And 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 but the week prior, it's like the biggest week, all the build-up. Well, the Super Bowl of Kingdom Marketing is coming back. The Super Bowl of Kingdom Marketing is coming back. And that is our brand new, brand new Money Market Masterclass that is called Get Visible with Virtual, guys. And, and I'm so excited about this because so many lives are going to be transformed uh, with, with, with this, what we're doing. Matter of fact, now let me just share my screen with you guys really quick. You can see what I'm talking about. But uh, let me share my screen. We're live on multiple platforms right now as well. But yes, the uh, Get Visible with Virtual Five Days to Five Figure Months Using Kingdom Virtual Events. Many of you guys who know, been following me, you participated, uh-oh, wrong one, in previous, <laughs> that's the ads, Money Marketing Masterclasses. You know that it was unlike any experience out there today. You won't find it in the secular world. You won't find it in a lot of stuff in Christendom, right? Because we, we, we bring the kingdom with the marketplace with the marketing and, and, and it's just powerful. Holy Spirit shows up in a powerful, magnificent way. So this is the Super Bowl week. The Super Bowl kicks off with our pregame party <laughs> next Sunday. We having something we've never done before inside this Money and Marketing Masterclass series. And we are doing a worship night next Sunday night at seven Eastern. And the Super Bowl kicks off July 26th, guys. So here's the deal. If you're a Christ and a coach, consultant, expert, and you want to be able to scale the six figures in your business, you want to be able to create more impact and influence with those all across the world, this is the number one place you need to be. And that has been a part of the brand new, we've never done this before, get visible with virtual five days to five figure months using Kingdom Virtual Events. I'm going to share with you the exact strategy, what you need to do to create more impact and influence and build your business in a more fast, consistent way than anything else out there today. That I promise. And this experience be something like you've never experienced before. So I had to get that quick commercial out, guys, because we are in Super Bowl week. And, and so really quick, what, what I wanted to share, oh, where do you go, right? Simply go to moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com. Go to moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com and get your spot, all right? And if you guys are watching on Instagram right now, I guess I need to flip my screen. You can see what I'm talking about. I'm sitting there talking. You can't even see it, right? There you go. So yeah, you simply go to moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com money and marketing masterclass.com and get your spot asap it's going to literally blow your mind all right so let's talk about then topic i want to share with you this morning and many of you know a lot of times i pray about the topics and a lot of times god would give me the topic the night prior right and so so i said well what do i want to share tonight what do i want to share tonight well here's the deal what what I want to share with you right now, not tonight, but right now, is I want to motivate you and encourage you to, you might not have heard this before, but let the, angel, the angels do their job. What am I talking about? I want you to let the angels do their job. What am I talking about? Here is the deal. Too many believers, oh, I should, oh, this is good. Too many believers love to carry weight on their back. I'm already teaching, right? And, and, and we carry these unnecessary weights on our back, right? And we're climbing and we're carrying all this kind of stuff on our back, right? Then, 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 then we pile on, I'm trying to find what else I can grab in here. Then we pile on more stuff on our back, right? And we're like, I'm a warrior. I'm a soldier, you know, I'm the Lord, I'm a soldier, I got to fight. I don't know about you, but I grew up in church. We used, we used to sing this song, we are soldiers in the army, 
We have we fight. Maybe you heard that song before. You've seen that song. And it sounded cool. You know, and you, you see the ushers going around marching like they soldiers. Bow, bow, bow. I used to be in the military, right? So you see all this stuff. And, and, and we believe that we have been drafted into God's army to be soldiers. I've seen people out there doing stuff to, uh, how to survive in God's army, how to thrive in God's army. I'm like, well, here's the deal. I'm, I'm going to share some breaking news with you guys. Nowhere in the Bible are you called to be in God's army. Ooh tell the truth, Chris. Okay, I'm going to tell the truth. There's nowhere in the Bible where kingdom citizens are called to be in the army to fight battles. See, we love to fight battles. And we get our butt whooped by trying to fight these battles. Because why? The angels were created to fight your battles. That's why they're called the, the army angels, the host. The Lord, what it says, the Lord of hosts of the army angel. It's the angels. Michael was one of the one of the chief generals in charge of the army of the angels. But see, let me share a nugget with you. I used to be in the Air Force. When I joined the Air Force, check this out. I was no longer considered a civilian. So that means that when I joined the Air Force or the military, I was sworn to protect civilians. I was part of the army or the military. But you know who was not? If a war would have broke off, and thank God it didn't, but if a war would have broke off, you who are a civilian, Johnny, Becky, would not come down to the Air Force base with their Colt 45 rifles, nine millimeters, uh, uh, shot, uh, 12 gauge shotguns and say, hey, hey, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. You wouldn't have been allowed to fight. Why? Because you were a citizen. Citizens don't fight. Citizens have others, military, who are equipped to fight to protect the citizens. See, we've been brainwashed and told that we are part of God's army and, and, and we can't handle the loads. We put on this big, uh, uh, what's called, knapsack, and we got our Kevlar helmet on, and we got our vest on, we got our M16, right? And, and, and we, we got our, our boots on and we climbing and we get wore out. The devil going, bam, you can't handle this. The devil going, bam, you can't handle this. The devil whooping our butt, be like, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna fight. But nowhere in the Bible you call it a fight. <laughs> and the angels <laughs> be unemployed who want to go fight because you won't let them fight. You're like, no, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to fight. And civilians don't fight. That's why throughout scripture, when it says be still, <laughs> right? Be still and watch God. Uh, 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 um, when, when the king was marching around the armies, he said, what? The battle is not yours. When it was going around Jericho, right? They were told, they were told this to circle, circle, circle. What happened? Bam, it fell. When Elijah went, uh, he, he, he's ready to give up. Like, there's nobody left on planet Earth, Lord. Nobody else. And the Lord said, open your eyes up. It was angel armies everywhere. When Jesus was uh, 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 being tried by a pilot, and he said, if I want, I can call down, what? 60 legions of angels? Angels are called to fight. God said, I will put angels in camping around you. Read Psalm 91. They are assigned to protect you and to fight your battles. Michael is the one who fights the battles. If you read Daniel, Michael said, it took us about two or three weeks to come to you, Brother Michael, because we're fighting this battle. That's their job. Civilians don't fight. But if, you, but if you're a religious Christian, you're being told you need to fight. But if you're a kingdom citizen, you understand that citizens don't fight. We have them fight. Here's another example. When something goes down in your neighborhood, or you see some wrong activity, do you go out trying to be Mr. Miss or Miss Policeman? Or do you pick up the phone and say, hey, 911, hey, there's something going on around here. We need somebody over here. And what happens? They show up. Why? Because that's their duty to show up. They're there to enforce the law. You're not, you're, not, you're not called to enforce the law. You're not called to go out and fight the battles. You're called to be a citizen. And a citizen has right, responsibilities, and privileges. I get into this stuff a whole lot more inside the master class. So I want to pop on a day to tell you, stop fighting. Let the angels do what they're supposed to do. Angels are put in charge of protecting you. Let them fight. Stop fighting. Take off the equipment. Take, put down your M16. Take off your rucksack. Take off your gear and say, I'm going to be a citizen. I'm going to be a civilian. I'm going to let the angels the army angels do the fighting because why? That's what God created them to do. And you and you take that load off 
because you can't handle it anyway. That's what Jesus said, cast your cares upon me because you can't handle those loads. But so many believers are getting whooped in life because they're carrying that load unnecessarily, trying to be in the army, trying to fight the battles. And you can't fight the battles. The battle is not yours. So if you got inspired or motivated any, from this, any, any way from this, comment below. Tell me what you found powerful about this. Tell me what you found motivational about this. But I want you guys to get this deep in your spirit. And if you enjoyed this stuff, oh, my goodness, you ain't seen nothing yet. So you need to go register right now. Go to um, moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com and get your spot. It's Super Bowl week, guys. It's going down. So let me share this with you one more time, guys. And here's the deal. We're going to be doing pre-training in the group. It's going to kick off this week. We probably do pre-training. It's going to kick off today. So you want to be a part of this right now. I don't procrastinate. But this is going to be amazing. The Super Bowl is coming back. It's been six months. The Super Bowl is coming back, guys. So the Super Bowl is uh, of Kingdom Challenges, Master Classes, Intensive, what do you want to call them? This is the Super Bowl. Go right now. Brand new series. Get visible with virtual. Five days to five figure months using Kingdom Virtual Events presented by the Money and Marketing Masterclass. Simply go to moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com and get your spot ASAP, my friend. All right. So any... uh. Hope you found this valuable, guys. I just want to pop on and inspire and motivate you. And uh, until next time, my friend, keep God first in all that you do, and you too shall succeed. And get in, get in the master class, get in the group. It's going down right now, guys. It's happening. It's going down right now. And, uh, and, and man, it's, 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 it's about to happen. It's about to happen. All right. All right, guys. Continue to check out the Kingdom Market Secrets podcast and all that good stuff as well. I'm going to see you inside the group. Peace and God bless. <laughs>